There's a brand new faceless music artist that we took from zero to nearly 1 million pay streams in his first year. And we're going to dive into the analytics today to show you how we did it. So we're talking about Taylor James here, as you can see, you can look him up on Spotify or YouTube. Uh, right now it's about 800,000 plus on just Spotify. Then on, if I go to YouTube, another 100,000 or so. So, you know, really close to a million within one year you see here it says one year ago so very close and just talking about three songs here if we did more songs for him then i uh, could have easily gotten over the million but just have the three songs just the one ep for this experiment here so to dive into the numbers uh here's the spotify for artists uh you can see the source of the streams we're just going with the the biggest song here uh listeners own library in Profile and catalog is about 15%, which is decent. Uh, it's definitely decent uh, for a, like a hit song. What you're going to see is upwards of 50% on these two to where uh, the other listeners playlist, this percentage shrinks as you get the song into more and more playlists, like big uh, curator playlists, then that percentage over time, you want to see it drift over here in these two areas. A lot of people think you want to get all the Spotify algorithm playlists. They started to dwindle that down uh, when they did discovery mode. So not that they don't have it anymore at all. As you can see, it's still 9% over here, which is good. And this is the last 28 days. But uh, really, you want it in these areas where you can control. So how do I bump it over here into these two areas? Let's look at the playlist that we got. And let's go all the way to 2015. Uh, so, so this is giving us the all-time stats here. Um, I'm pretty much just going to look at these top three playlists. Uh, as you know, if anybody knows the Pareto principle, it's just talking about like the 80-20 rule. Um, and really, it can be like a 90-10 rule. It's just essentially saying a lot of your results are coming from a concentrated area is what this rule is saying. So it's saying that like 20% of the things you do are pr producing 80% of the results. So they just, just take that principle and say that a small, uh, you know, a concentrated area where you're focusing, focusing on will produce a lot of results. So and that's what it did here. So as we see, um, this, this big list here is one that got over 100,000 streams just in one list for the song. So if people ask, you know, this playlist and more can playlist and more. Yes, it, it definitely can. So this list both gets traffic from Facebook, Instagram ads. Um, I'm not sure if we did any. Tic no, I don't think TikTok ads for this one. Maybe they get a little bit of traffic from TikTok, but Facebook, Instagram ads definitely. And then also just people finding it inside of um, Spotify search or, um, you know, finding it from referral like a friend or whatever uh that's how this list grew so definitely through the search uh spotify search and facebook instagram ads uh and the way you can tell something's growing in search you actually just you can search it inside of your own spotify account just make sure you're not following that playlist if you are following the playlist then it will always show up first for you so just like go to a, a different window uh or like a different web browser in search you know, search whatever you're, you're trying to get to pop up and that will tell you uh, if you're getting any traffic from search. Uh, now, you'll notice here that one of the things is that this playlist has multiple names. So if you're, let's, let's say you're making ads on Facebook and Instagram uh, or TikTok or wherever, and you're, you put your songs in the playlist like we teach in some of our courses, um, if the list is just called like, it's fine if you call it, I don't know, chill songs or whatever, right? Uh, but there's going to be a ton of playlists that are named chill songs. So it's just some other things you can do to make the playlist title a little bit longer um, to where you're not going after words that are as competitive as like a chill songs because like everybody's trying to go after that. Even slow songs is really competitive. Um, but we were still able to get a good amount of traffic by just adding in some some extra words in the playlist title. So if you're going to do Facebook and Instagram ads and, you know, send some traffic, like you put your songs inside of the list and you're just trying to send traffic over uh, to the playlist from Facebook and Instagram ads, that is definitely one thing that you can try out. Uh, another thing here, I don't know, there's there's some articles that are out there by people saying soundtrack playlists are bad or they don't work. Clearly, they they just don't know what they're talking about. Um, soundtrack playlists, not just for this song, for a bunch of songs that we do. Uh, we can see for this one, they had 60,000 streams 
uh, just off this one playlist. And obviously, the song has to you know fit within the playlist. But when it does, then playlist does well and song does well. So there's there's it's just saying that this is a tastemaker playlist. You can put that in the description of the playlist, um, or you know if you're submitting songs to different playlists. Uh, if it's in the description that it's a tastemaker playlist, meaning, you know, there's some songs from the soundtrack and then the other songs that we think fit. That's what playlisting is made for, uh, to introduce people to songs that they haven't heard before. Uh, so it did really well here. And then the third one here that we have, uh, the most relaxing songs ever, relaxing music, uh, kind of the same principle as that first list. Just trying to find, like, if I just try to go for relaxing songs, that's really, really competitive. Uh, so trying to just see how we could broaden it out to maybe get some extra traffic through the search, uh, and as well as, you know, the, the sending, sending people to an ad and then, um, sending them to, um, the, the like featuring your song. Let's say you have a song like this. I think this, this song is like a folk country type of song. So, uh, if you do folk country type of music, then you could have a relaxing playlist, a country folk playlist, so on and so forth. And then you just have some of your songs mixed into the playlist somewhere. Like I would not have it just be straight 10, 10 of your songs just in one playlist uh, if you're doing this. But, you know, just stagger them out through the playlist. And uh, that way you can try to maybe go after some like longer, longer search terms. Uh, so that's just a little bit of the tactics that we can see inside of here uh that we did to to get this artist nearly one million streams so you heard me talk about facebook and instagram ads a good bit in uh in this video but if you don't really know how to run facebook and instagram ads like maybe you tried them and you turned them off or you you have them running now and you're not sure if they are optimized as best as they can be what we have we actually give out free courses um so we do not sell our courses you cannot pay for our courses we give out free courses anytime you purchase music promotion from us so if you go to marmc.com and uh you go to the promo page or just click the button uh, right on the the home page will take you to our promo page and uh, you'll see that if i go through this checkout form here let's say i'm just doing spotify promo so let's say i want to get a spotify promo and you can get some discounts if you order uh larger packages let's just do uh the gold one here this way instead of paying for somebody's course you can get your song promoted but also get a free course while your song is getting promoted. So if you're going to pay for Instagram and Facebook ads or your TikTok ads or whatever anyway, then you may as well know how to run them the right way so that you can not spend too much money when you're running your Facebook and Instagram ads. Uh, so let's, well, let's search Taylor James in here. Okay, so we got Taylor James in there. Um, and then you can actually get a free trial for our Lifetime Spotify pre-saves uh, app. But save that for another video. So if I hit the next button here inside of the order form, you'll see that uh, I get to pick some free courses. So if you spend more money, then you get to pick more free courses with your order. So you were already going to pay uh, to do your ads anyway on Facebook and Instagram, or you're already spending your time trying to make a bunch of free posts on Facebook and Instagram or TikTok. Uh, just spending a little bit of money on the promotion, uh, having a professional team, we can manage your Facebook and Instagram ads, uh, manage your TikTok ads, or if you want some Spotify playlisting, you can do that too. All those options are available. Uh, this this is included with any of the promotion options that you choose. You can choose however many courses uh, you would like. You get to pick up to three courses whenever you spend this amount. And this will just be updated inside of the order form. So this might be different when you get in there. Uh, don't know what specials we have going on right now, but uh, maybe different when you get in there. However, there will always be some amount of free courses that you can choose with whatever order. Uh, whenever you purchase at omrmc.com. So as we talked about, you know, the results here from the songs for the brand new artists, obviously we know how to run Facebook, Instagram ads. A lot of you are probably at this video because you saw a Facebook and Instagram ad and clicked on it because we know what we're doing with the ads. So if you want to lower your costs on Facebook, Instagram ads, just the, this in and of itself would be worth the cost because most of the time people, their ads are not optimized. So if you can optimize 
your traffic ads or your, uh, your lead ads from Facebook and Instagram, or even learn some more about search. I talked about um, the SEO for Spotify within this video, learning about Google search is the same concept. Um, so learning about how do I optimize things for search, all those are included with your order. If you order at omimc.com. So again, you cannot buy courses from us. All of them are just included within here whenever you get promotion. So if you're going with another service or you're going to pay for Facebook, Instagram ads or TikTok ads or whatever, or you're paying with your time trying to make a bunch of free content, all this is going to be worth it because this is all just included whenever you order anyway. So you're going to spend the money anyway on Facebook, Instagram ads. Now you can learn how to do it yourself or have us run it run your ads for you for a month or two or, or like three months. A lot of people do that as well. They have us go into their ads manager, run their ads for them. And then uh, you can do that. If I just hit the back button a couple of times on step one here, you can select the uh, IG Facebook promo and to have us run your Instagram ads for you know a few months. And then you'll see how we set up the ads inside of your account. And you can just copy our strategies from directly in the account instead of taking the full course if you want to do it that way. A lot of people, um, now it is a, a little bit higher on the front end to have us do the Facebook Instagram ads management because it's a lot more time intensive than just doing the playlisting. So the cheaper uh, cost, initial cost of the intro for the playlisting. But if you want to save time, it just depends on what you want, right? If you have more time, like if you're a person who does a lot of free posting on social media, uh, you're spending your time. There's always a currency for this. So if you have more free time and you want to go through the course to learn all the things yourself and then apply it yourself, you can do that. If you're somebody that just says, well, I, I just want to pay you to have you come into the ads manager and do it all. And then I'll just, you know, look at what you did in there and just duplicate the ad and, and do stuff like that. It saves you time essentially. So just depends what currency you want, or you could have been somebody that watched this video and uh, you're going to try to go do all the, the YouTubing and you're going to try to do a bunch of articles and you you've done that before. Um, you're still spending more time. There is always a currency you're going to be spending. So with this one, uh, even if you just do the cheapest package at 77, you can still get a free course with that. You only get one free course versus three. If you, uh, you know, the more you spend, the more free courses you get, but you can still get the free course uh, whenever you get even the smallest package. So, uh, that's all I got for this video, y'all. If you have any questions, definitely hit us up on the site. Should be a live chat on the website whenever you go there or just hit the contact form uh, or just send us a DM on social media and we'll get back to you there.